Yo, what's good people? It's Jay Cactus, and in today's video, we're gonna be making an Afro beat from scratch. I'll be real, I don't usually make these type of beats, but I kinda made one in my last remix video, and everyone seemed to love it, so we're switching the vibe up again today. Plus, there's a heat wave in the UK right now, and we don't have no aircon, so it's way too hot to be making dark drill beats. But just so everyone knows, the drill production course is officially being relaunched tomorrow, and it's gonna be available for everyone. So if you missed out the first time, now's your chance to enroll again. There's a brand new marketing module in there, which everyone was asking asking for plus there's some bonus kits like loop kits drum kits mini kits one shot kits all completely free with the course so make sure you click the link in the description but yeah today it's just iced coffee and afro beats so let's get straight into it all right so to start with like always i'm just going to figure out some kind of chord progression i'm just going with a basic piano now I'm using addictive keys and then i'll probably swap the instrument after i'm setting the bpm to 100 and i've got an idea for a chord progression i'm not trying to overcomplicate complicate this one i just want something kind of simple and catchy because it's all going to be about a bounce so what i'm thinking is to just start on the root note so like this And that's going to be the progression, really basic. So I'm just going to copy that up an octave. And just start building out some chords. Maybe invert the C. So I like the way that sounds. We could build on that though. Maybe down actually. Yeah, there we go. What might sound better though, is if I just cut the chords here. And maybe repeat it, but not all the notes. Yeah, there we go. I'm just going to randomize the velocity a bit and then manually move some of the notes. Something like this. Even these ones here, I don't want things like perfectly on grid. Let's copy that over and then switch something up in the second half. This could work. Just a sort of change. So I'm feeling it for now, we can always change it if we need to, but I want to find a better instrument. I'm thinking maybe some kind of mallet. Ooh, this could be the one. Just completely switches the vibe, but it sounds sick. Now to thicken this up, I'm going to copy the chords, but not the counter melody. And I'm thinking to layer it with some kind of pad. Well, maybe this one actually. Yeah, this one's kind of subtle, it sounds sick. Okay, so I just took the effects off the mallet. I'm just adding my own delay. Just wanted it more in sync. Doing the same thing with a reverb too. Just so I've got more control. Okay, and I think I want some other mallets as well. Something like this. All right, so let's try this. I'm just gonna shorten them. I don't know why it's changing at the end though, but I could just render it out. And then with that second one, I'm just gonna add shaper box to get some panning effect. Just bring down the mix. Okay, and I'm just gonna add a layer of chromatic by Lander. Like this. Okay, and I think the last thing it needs is just some vocals, but I'm gonna have this play when that last sim sound is out. So I like the sound of this, but I want to pitch it up. So I'm just using a little altar boy, and I'm just bringing the formant up. Let's try this. Obviously we can filter this out. And then add some reverb. Actually, it might just sound better up an octave. How's it sound space now? Okay, and like I said, I don't want to overcomplicate the melody. I just want to get the bounce right with the drums. So we'll see what we can do. So I think to start with, I just want a bounce with a snare like this. For the drums, I just want a nice, clean, punchy one. So I'm going to go with the goat kick, just boost that up a little. So with the kick, there's a few different options. I could just land it on every fall like this. It could sound hard, but I want to do something a bit different. I 
come with that snare. I'm just bringing the shift up a little bit so it's not clashing with the kick so much. We'll just move this last one back. All right, let's add a hat, but I'm just going to tighten this up. And then just to the small groove, I'm just going to bring a few of them a bit off grid and just play with the velocity. Then maybe just add one or two more filler ones. Or actually what I'll do is I'll clone that clap and then with this second one I'm just going to add a lot of reverb to it. Alright now I'm just adding a few more perks in there and I'll just stretch these in time. And then I've just got another conga in there. Just about here. Alright and I still think it needs a little bit more rhythm so I'm just going to find some kind of shaker loop to add in there. I've also added this filter on shaper box, but I'm bringing down the mix a little bit. This is just to make it a little bit more subtle. Okay, and with the clap, I just want to add a little bit more bounce, so I'm just going to bring the velocity of these ones down. Alright, next I'm just going to see what this drum fill sounds like. And then I'm just adding a second one in. Alright, let's see what we can do with the bass. So for the bass, I'm not using a hard hitting crazy trap 808 like a spins or Zay. I'm just trying to get that kind of subtone. All right, this might be it. It's kind of following the rhythm. All right, so I've got the eight weight pattern and it's getting crazy hot in here. I'm already sweating, so I need to arrange this. So I've just split everything. I'm gonna copy it out a few times. So I'll take all the drums out, take this out, maybe just have the mallet. And then in this section, introduce something else. So yeah, maybe take out everything apart from the shakers. Yeah, there we go. And then maybe I'll have one eight weight pattern, just really simple. So then I can just have these two patterns alternate. And then I wonder what the mallets would sound like up an octave. But if I just brought the levels down. There we go. And then I'll save these ones just so there's something to look forward to. Take out these two. And the Congo. There we go. I also need something for the drop, some kind of crash. All right, so I'm just adding the crash. All right, so in the verse, I'm going to take everything out, even the eight way. Maybe just save that for here. Have a little break here. Another break here. Okay, bring these back in here. Cut that out. Then take the shaker out. Alright, let's have a listen from the beginning. So starting off really simple with just the mallet chords. Then introducing a few percussive elements. Just as always, slowly building it up to the hook. So yeah, here we've got the mallets up an octave, just giving it way more energy. Adding the final percussive elements here. And then drop to the verse. So 
yeah. Just really kind of simple here. Then slowly build it back up. Introduce the sim sound. Just for that variation. So like all my beats, I just slowly build things up. And then start docking it back down. And then for the hook again, 